Hi guys, welcome to English 1020. I'm your instructor, Mrs. Larson, and I am excited to get to know you all and help you on your educational journeys to become a better writer. So this is our class homepage, and you can see that I have announcements posted here already. Um, first one here is gonna stay up all session, and it has a video included on how to contact me. So, um, I work at five different colleges, as many part-time instructors do. So I am online at AI at least five or six days a week. I try to take Sundays off, um, but you can reach me through my phone number, through um, a text message, or of course through AI's email account, but that doesn't mean that I'm online for eight hours a day. Um, so technically I, I work at AI, again, five to six days a week, but only for a couple hours a day. So uh, best way to reach me is probably through a text message, and you can get all my information there. Um, you can also Skype me. I have specific class rules that are for this class, so it's really important that you read those and go through here. Um, for example, I would rather that <coughs> you post all of your assignments directly into our discussion area instead of uploading an attachment. From the years and years that I have spent teaching online, I find that those who only submit an attachment rarely get responses from their peers and sometimes those files are corrupt or encrypted and I can't read them. So it's really important to paste your work as well. Um, I have talked about late policies and about our schedules. So again, really, really, really important to read these announcements. <coughs> and um, these announcements will change pretty much every week because I will um, I'll make copies of the emails that I send out just in case for whatever reason you missed your email or it's not getting to you It will be here in the announcement area All right, so going over our classroom um, We have over here um, a list of all the links of what we're doing. This is our course home menu So you can see your expectations and resources. This is where you can post questions for me and then you scroll down to week one which we're starting today and all of these links here are my lectures for you <coughs> Excuse me, I have a horrible cough. Um, so it's really important for you to read through this, like the MLA style and citations. Hopefully you got a taste of that in English 1010, but if not, make sure that you are getting comfortable with MLA citation style. Um, our first assignment here is just a chance to get to know each other. Our second assignment is our graded discussion, which is your chance to brainstorm for our class assignment. Our entire six weeks together, we're working up to a research paper. And so this week, you'll show me things that you're considering writing about. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, our assignment three, and we'll do this every week, is a chance for you to practice um, grammar and or writing concepts under my writing lab. So you open it up, you see click here, click here, click here. All three of those links are three different activities. You have to do them all. And I believe that my writing lab does not let you move forward until you've gone back. So if you missed one of these and you go to week two, you won't be able to take the week two tests until you take all of the week one tests. Hopefully that makes sense. So <coughs> excuse me, you click here, you read the overview, you watch the little video, you do these two practice quizzes, and then you take the post test. The post test is what your grade will be in our class. But the good news is, if you do poorly on that first test, you can retake it and retake it and retake it. So take it as many times as you need in order to get a perfect score. Um, so again, click on all three of those, and um, those again will show up right in my gradebook. I won't have access to your scores, so if you're having any trouble or problems, um, let me know and we can try to solve those problems together. If you run into tech problems, whether you um, access or um, something's not quite working on your computer, I'm not a tech person, so you need to go to tech support right here, and you can chat live with them. <coughs> you can call them, you can send them an email, and they will help you if you're having problems with, with um, the MyLab or anything on our course homepage. And um, in our weeks, or our, our weekly layouts, you have this problems and solutions discussion. You only need to post there, of course, if there's a problem or a solution. Um, like I said before, you can send me a text message, you can shoot me an email, but maybe your question could benefit everybody in the class. So if you post it there, or under questions for the professor, everybody can see the, the question and the answer. 
<coughs> and as I said before, I'm online at least five to six days a week. So you can basically re expect a response within 24 hours. Um, once again, I try to take Sundays off. So if you post a question on Saturday afternoon, I probably won't get it till Monday. But um, that way you'll know that, that I'll be online eventually. Um, same thing goes with your discussions. I try to respond to everybody, and I do so within 48 hours. So if you post here in the week one assignment one discussion and you tell me who you are today, um, I will try to respond to it by tomorrow, but I'll definitely respond to it by the day after. So again, within 48 hours, I will make sure that I, I respond to you. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. As I said before, our class is all about getting to that final research paper. So each week we're doing kind of baby steps to get to a, a clear research paper, using outside credible sources, <clears throat> making a strong stance for something that, that you believe in. So it'll be a persuasive and argumentative research paper. Um, every week you'll see your grades posted here in the gradebook. And again, I, I follow that 48 hour policy. So if something is due on Sunday, which almost all of our assignments are, um, I would have it graded for you by Tuesday at midnight. Um, pay attention to the time zone that you're in because you have, Everything is set to mountain time in our class. So if you're living over in New York and you post at midnight, that's actually late because it's, it's set to mountain time. I live in California, so I'm on Pacific time. Please pay attention to that before you send me a text message at 10 a.m. and you live in New York because that will be <coughs> 7 a.m. my time. Um, and I've had lots of people text me at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. And, and getting woken up is, is not fun. So... Um, Again, if you need me, send me a text message or shoot me an email. Um, in week three, we'll have a chance to talk live for our midterm project. Um, I highly suggest getting Skype so you can talk to me through that or, again, through a text message. All right, guys, um, good luck, and let me know if you have any questions.